Hello everyone! So today I'm going to be sharing with you the paper collection that I'm going to be using for my October Daily this year as well as my album. I am so excited to be participating this year because I believe it's been about a year or two since I actually did one so I'm very excited. I was encouraged by um, Josie, who's Josie Posey here on YouTube, as well as Janet. She's a girl in a sweater crafts here on YouTube. And I'll go ahead and link their channels down below. Super sweet ladies. They totally just built me up and encouraged me to come back to the crafty community and really just participate in doing October Daily. And yeah, I know it's super last minute and I've, you know, been trying to find a paper collection that I like and if anything is available, I try to get it as fast as I can. And, you know, I went today to go pick up my album from Hobby Lobby and I am so excited to say that yes, I am going to be participating this year. I am very excited in case I haven't said that 20 million times already. So enough of me rambling. I'm just going to go ahead and get started and sharing with you the paper collection. So first off, I just want to say I know my lighting is not the best. Um, I actually just ordered some lighting and a new tripod off of Amazon, so it should be coming within a few days. So just bear with me for now. Now I'm sure um, you guys have already seen a flip through of this collection already, but in case you haven't, I'm just going to go ahead and share it with you anyway. So the paper collection that I will be using is Halloween Market from Cartabella, and the creator is Jen Allison. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. This is the first time I'm opening it and actually seeing the entire collection. Okay, okay. So this is the sticker sheet and I love it. I love how everything looks kind of like almost painted in a way. Like look at the hat. I love like these little elements right here. I love haunted houses. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I love the little candy cart. So cute. Like I said, sorry for the shadows. <laughs> That's my tripod that you're seeing the little shadows. So yes, just bear with me for now. Um, this is the cut apart sheet. I love this treat cart. Like I said, super cute. Love it. So the back is like this rusty orange with these Halloween words, super cute. Oh, I love this paper. I love all the little like icons in between each word. So you have like little pieces of candy and bats. Super adorable. And then in the back is bats. See, I love this, this is so cute. Like I just love when things look hand painted and it's so pretty. So I love the ghost. And then on the back is this orange and white stripe. Here's some borders. So I love all these frames. I love the spooky jack-o'-lanterns. And then this says, when witches go riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers tis near Halloween. Look at all of these cards. I have a brother scan and cut. And seeing little things like this and some of the pages that I'm going to be showing you, um, kind of like this, oh my gosh, I can run this through my scan and cut and it'll cut all these out. And so I'll have little bits of ephemera, which I'm super happy about because I wasn't able to pick the ephemera up because it was not available. So this is the next paper. And so it's got a bunch of little candies on it. And then this kind of like... I don't know, checkered print, I guess you could say. So papers like this, where it's all different, just little icons throughout the whole page, I can totally just run this through my scan and cut and it'll cut all this out. So I'll have plenty to work with. So that's another reason why I love this collection. So there's that page. I love this flannel, this orange and black and white flannel. And the pumpkins. The white ones crack me up. Um, this is banners. Again, can totally cut these up and use them at the top of a page. And then some stars. Over here is just like totally witchy vibes. So there's cauldrons, hats, brooms, cats. I love how the cats look so creepy. 
And then these are journaling cards. So you have a haunted house, a banner, trick or treat, I put a spell on you, have a spectacular Halloween and Boo Crew. Spider webs. And then look at all these treat cards. So, so cute. You have this orange polka dot. And then this skeleton. Um, he reminds me of this movie that I saw when I was little. And I don't know if you guys know. Let me know in the comments down below if you know what I'm talking about. But when I was a kid, Disney came out with this movie. Um, and it was called Something Wicked This Way Comes. And um, if you've never heard of it, go check it out. Google it. But the main... I guess bad guy you want to say in the movie I forgot what his name was Mr. Nightshade I forgot but he this is who he reminds me of with well he wasn't a skeleton but you know with the black top hat and then the staff or baton or whatever you want to call it walking stick that's what he reminds me of so super creepy I love it black and white stripe and then on the back are three by four journaling cards so I love this one, it's so cute. And that's that. So that is the paper collection that I'm going to be using for my October Daily 2021. So normally when I purchase a collection to work with, I get two collection kits, the ephemera and the frames and tags. So scrapbook.com only had one collection kit left. So I was just, I just basically picked up whatever single sheets they had. I picked up two or three of each because I wanted to have enough because I knew I was going to cut out some elements and I wanted to have enough for when I did my pages and stuff in my album. So I just grabbed a bunch of um, the single sheets. So I was not able to pick up the ephemera, but I was able to get the frames and tags. So I got a couple of those. This is what it looks like. And like I said, if I need to, um, you know, well, I am going to run it through my brother's scan and cut, I can make my own ephemera from the collection because there's just all these cute images on the papers. I was kind of last minute on trying to find an album. So my saint of a husband <laughs> took me to Hobby Lobby today and I was able to find this album. So I have seen people work in six by 12 albums before. I have never worked in a 6x12 album, but I loved the length of this. I thought it was so cool, so I figured I'll just give this a try. This is the 6x12 3 ring scrapbook album from the Paper Studio. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it right now. I'm trying to like, there we go. Okay, so I went ahead and unwrapped the album. And it comes with pages already, which I did not know when I picked up a couple packs, which I'm totally fine with because I plan on using my fuse tool and doing like three by four sections, such so as like fusing it in the center and having three by four cards and stuff for like journaling, um, photos, shaker pockets, things like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then like I said, I just went ahead and picked up a couple more of these um, page protectors, which that's totally fine because I want to have enough. And the last thing I want to share with you guys is the way that I will be printing my photos. So a big obstacle in me doing any kind of um, anything where I have to print photos, so December daily, October daily, anything like that, a big obstacle for me was how do I print everything out. Um, when the printer I have, it just goes through ink like crazy. So, and not to mention, it's big. Um, I had to move my craft area upstairs to my bedroom, so I'm limited in space. So I was trying to like think about like what I could use for a printer that will suffice for right now and is um, like a space saver, I guess you could say. And I found this on, Amazon. So this is the Kodak Instant Dock Printer. My husband helped me kind of do a little bit of research on it and everything that we looked up, this printer was highly suggested. So this prints four by six. 
I'm going to go ahead and open it um, in my own time and just kind of play with it a little bit and then I'll let you guys know how I like it once I start doing my um, October daily videos and stuff. So I can't wait to start using this. Super excited because now I actually have a little printer and I can do December daily and I could do projects involving photos um, because I have a little printer now and it's small and just compact and it's gonna fit right next to my brother's scan and cut on my cart. So that is pretty much it. I am super happy to be doing October Daily this year. So let me know in the comments down below if you're going to be participating this year as well. I would love to see your guys' channels and see what you guys are doing. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Love you guys. Bye.